Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech. So I was thinking about going to this mission, but that's going to take 17 days. And our report is in 18 days. And I don't think that's going to be financially sound, even at the most. One minute, let's have a look. Just make certain. Because we're pretty much going to hit our financial day on the time that that comes in. I mean, our blackjack will also be ready, but still. It is beside the point. So if we went there, we'd get basically 2,000, let's just say. We'll say 1,500 to, you know, or 150,000. And our cost is going to be 245,000. So yeah, I... Uh, hmm. You know, I don't actually think it's worth going to that one, unfortunately. Because it will basically be on the same day as we arrive, we get our pay. It's a day later, but or charge, but whatever. Anywho... Let us go and deploy on this one, shall we? The Benefactor, in orbit of Bellero... Anna Maria of Centrilla. Mr. Olivia, uh, thank you for honouring my request to meet. I am Anna Marie Centrilla. Uh, you've heard of my family, for sure. Lady Centrina, <laughs> this is a surprise. I wouldn't have expected a member of the Kaposian royal family. A Canopian royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us with such a non-traditional manner. This is a tradition, isn't a traditional contract, you know? And I need, don't need comms to asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to involve the MRB. I already know that I want to hire you. I have piqued your interest, haven't I, Commander Space Monkey? Uh... Certainly, Lady Centrilla, but we would uh, we wouldn't be here otherwise. I am pleased to hear it. The job I have for you is a relatively simple one. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I will pay down your interest on a rather sizable loans and buy you a breathing room you have been looking for. How do you know about that? Uh, you know what? Uh, it doesn't matter. Just tell us what you're supposed, what we're supposed to be recovering. Tis. Lady Centrina's image is replaced by the one on screen. A grainy photograph of an enormous grounded dropship. Ramshackle structures cling to it like barnacles. It is a, she is a derelict vessel. An Argo, one of two, only two ever made, and over a hundred years old. She's been lying in a state on Axilius, a pirate moon on the heart of the frontier. I want her, and you're going to bring her to me. Yes, I know exactly what you are supposed to... Uh, yes, and how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship, and she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in a photo. As an enthusiast... I am as enthusiastic about money as the next guy. But I am a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'll be damned if I can get that thing flying again. Relax, Mr. Venterian. Uh, Vertanian. Ver I have an engineering staff in hand to attend to the Argo. Our leader, Dr. Freya Marud, has built quite a reputation for herself on the frontier. You'll find our jump ship waiting for you at the alleyway. It will carry you to the pirate moon where you can clear a path to the drop site. A crash site. Dr. Marud and our team will go to work on the derelict and you will protect them until the job is done. This should be well within your capabilities, Commander Space Monkey. Nine to read. Uh, unless I've come to, uh, to the wrong company, of course. Hmm. I uh, fought against legends. I uh, fought against legends, Messi Centrilla. Pirates don't worry me. Then I can see no reason why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do you know you do do your job well enough, and there could be more work for you upon your return. Mister Olivier will never find a better opportunity than the one I am offering, Commander Space Monkey. To read. I can promise you that. She is in wrong space. I've been looking for a lifeline, and I think this is the closest we're gonna get. 
Okay, Lady Centrilla, you got yourself some marks. Very good. I look forward to your contact, uh, Mr. Olivia. I know, uh, you know, Commander Space Monkey 928. Your exploits on Solaris 7 reminded me of your majesty. Wait, what? I remembered in the majestry. Majest, ma, majestry. Okay. I watched some of your fights myself. I saw your potential. Let's hope that you'll live up to it, shall we? The contract with Lady Centrilla is a delicate recovery job is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when, when you think it's ready. Oh, so we could still just go... Okay, that's 18 days of travel. Well... Hmm... That is a lot of money. <laughs> hmm. Ah. Okay, that is what we're going to get full stop, is the reward and the salvage. Okay. I'm going to negotiate for this. I'm going to slide it slightly for salvage instead of um, payment. Honestly, because I think salvage is going to be more useful. And we can get that million, uh, almost two million for the thingy afterwards. So that'll be fine. So, yeah. Course now, Commander. Let's get moving, shall we? So what I'm going to do is actually, um, when I get there, I'm going to wait until my blackjack's prepared and take myself out. Oh, look, there's another light leopard up there. Oh, what? Extension, banging noises draw you to uh, the shared mech warrior barracks where you find Decker assem disassembling one of the leopard's internal walls. There are already several panels uh, neatly stacked beside him. He pauses and explains. There's a few cubic meters of dead space back there. I'm making room so we can stretch it, uh, stretch without hitting the bunks. A response as uh, reasonable as it sounds, the bunks aren't going to like you modifying their property. No, oh, banks aren't going to let you, you know, like. Uh... Yeah, Decker, can you just put the wall back and then we'll fix it later? Oh. You have to clear charging like this before you start, Decker. You know what? We don't own this leopard, right? Well. He looks expectedly at you. Can I? No. We'll be fine more than uh, your monthly paycheck, so unless you want an XO garnishing your wages for a year, you'll rebuild this wall. Decker tries to read your expression for a moment and then sighs. <sighs> alright, alright, Commander. Maybe someday we can get a ship with a few extra strings attached. With uh, that. Maybe someday we can get a ship with fewer strings attached. I mean, uh, uh, maybe he should have done it. Oh well. But right now we are a bit strapped for cash, so we'll live in a bit of uncomfortable circumstances. Soon, soon we can do that, I'd say, but, you know, right now, come on. Come on. Come on. You know, just soon. Um, let's have a look at the store. What have we got here? Oh, Panther. We can get a Panther. It's an all-round mech with a bit of slow on the side, making up for it with jump jets, considerable armor, I have to punch in the trademark PPC. Even using... Ah, uh, they've even been used in physical slugging matches to good effect. Panther is a light mech, though. I don't... Uh, you know. Don't ever want to be slugging in things that are light, after all, personally. Hmm... Okay, that seems fine. We'll look at this stuff later, I guess. Right. Keep moving a long time. And so we have arrived. Now entering synchronous orbit. 
Uh, not yet. Take the day on. Job is done, Commander. Uh, all work orders complete, Captain. The crew is ready for the next job. Okay. The financial report. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but alas. What's our morale at? Uh, maximum of 50 points. Morale is carried over into battle. It can be used to trigger special. Uh, is it carried from battle? Because that would be useful. Carried over into battle, where it can be used to trigger special actions. Morale can be raised by lavish spending on salaries and luxuries, as well as constructing recreational upgrades for the dropship. No. Unfortunately not. Mm -hmm. Oh well, we'll have to get to that later, when we actually own the ship. Uh, in the meantime... Um... Four, five... Four. You know what? Blackjack, me... Let's get ourselves in there, shall we? Well, how's Locust? 166 structure, 400 armor. That's a lot more armor. Uh, armor's better than uh, structure. I mean, it's not better per se, it's just I like armor better than structure because it's easier to replace. So we'll do that. Mech warriors, Mech warriors, prepare for. 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 For what? Uh, systems with no permanent population. Something or other. It was up here. Uh, right click on a mech or vehicle to see the details of the weapon loads and armor set status. Right. Okay, that's how you do it. See, I was trying to figure that out earlier. I just. Mm, it didn't work, you know. Like anything. But yeah, I think that's uh, uh, for the max salvage part. That is two pieces of equipment and eight random. But I could be wrong. It might be just two pieces of selected and eight altogether. Command interface initiated. I guess we'll see at the end of this. We got him, Commander. Bad out in the open. The guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them and take them out. Good hunting, Commander. Olivia. What are those? Trees? <laughs> what are those trees? Yes, they're trees. Oh, God. What are those? I've never seen them before. Are they trees? Bandit. Even if you've never seen them before, you should know what they look like, right? Like, surely. Uh, little locust, hide behind that wall for now. Move into position. BJ, move there. Let's get this done, folks. Okay, little locust, that's fine. There was one up here. Minor damage. Standing by. Okay, nah. Just hold off for now. Yeah, you're doing the same. Commander. Mm. It's understandable. Okay. So I just need to remain stationary for it to trigger. That's good. Okay, what if I actually go with me first? How is my chance to hit? Ah, oh, it's quite low. It's like 30s. Okay, glitch. For orders. Good to go. How are you, glitch? Got a good chance? Eh, not really. Alright, behemoth. Yes, Commander. Uh, get moving. On oh, shooting nuts.
Okay, here's my chance to hit now. It's reasonably good. What, what weight is that mech up there? Anyway, out of curiosity. Uh, it's just unknown right now, we don't have any stats on it. That's fine. Okay then, uh, well, just open fire with everything. Ah! Oh. Excellent. CT's down. Uh, reserve for now until he comes out. He's not coming out, is he? Waiting for the shot. Hmm. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, yeah, we'll just praise for now then. Roger that. Venting heat and stabilizing. I uh, just reserve for now. I don't want to be the one to. Uh... Well, fine. Who has most what can armor? I do for Waiting for orders. Seven twenty, seven thirty, four hundreds. I okay. hear ya. Well, Behemoth, you're up. On the move. Oh, is that a cicada? No, it's a Janner. Ooh. Hmm. Fire. All weapons are go. What can I do for you? I might take the small laser off of uh, Glitch, or the Vindicator. Because, honestly, I'm never really in range, and there's a disparity between the ranges when you mix in like a laser like that, and the LRMs. And I think, personally, I think it's better to have a parity Special in ranges. Delivery. Excellent, right arms down. I, per I personally like having more of a parody between all my weapons, so they all have the same general game plan, if that makes sense. Pew. No? Okay. Waiting for orders. Hmm. No, reserve. Why is he not moving? Confirmed. Ah. Uh, Receiving you. Fine, fine. Copy that. Get out there, Jenner. Uh, Jenner? Locust and hopefully do something. Ah, uh, well, what can you do? Fire away. Target. Confirmed. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Oh well. Reporting. Minor damage. Major armor loss. Major? You can't say that was major. No, oh, well maybe. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll give okay. you major then. Copy that. Well, go and get yourself some payback then. Right. Um. Pop. God damn it! How can you mess with? Oh, whatever. It's fine. He messed his large laser, a uh, small laser at that range. Like, come on. Um. Pop. All weapons committed. And fall over. Or just die because both legs are dead. Enemy That's fine. Destroyed. 
Ah, Melkron, just as we expected. Good work, Commander. Mission. Yep, and all we need to do is replace the panels. Armor panels, I mean. I kind of just said panels without really saying anything else. Anyway! Uh, yep, next. Yeah, there was nothing really that ended up happening. That's, that's good. Next. Oh hey, I got both kills! Um... I mean, I could get to partial sal salvages on the Jenner. How much is the Jenner worth? It's a 35 ton light. I mean, yeah, you know what? Let's get both on the Jenner. Uh, there's only hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was only seven items, but we had the total of eight. Oh well. What can you do? We just went. Oh, the savage is mine. It's like, but we want some. No, it's mine. I like lost tech. I mean, hopefully we can like buy one Jenner. No. By buying the last part, right? Let's see, let's see. Do we have... No, oh, there's no Jenner part here. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh well, what can you do? I mean, we have one part for the Locust uh, V. But alas. Anyway. Let's have a look at the Mac B. How the... Oh! The toys are fine. Alright, that's cool. Um... Vindicator, what have you got? You got LRM5? I think I've also got too much ammo, honestly. You know what? While well, we're here. Strip that la ammo out the leg. Maybe more armor would be good. I wonder, can we just, like, fill up the armor on the front? No. Right, okay. Never strip that armor off. Um, thinking about taking the jump jets off, honestly, but for now we'll leave it until I have a look. We could get some laser? Small laser, maybe? No MGs? Ah, okay. MGs. We could put MGs on there. And uh, no, not really. All right. Well, you know what? Then one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Uh, I'll keep the armor a little bit off there. The last time we ended up. No, we didn't end up core, I just ended up losing the left horse, so that's what happened last time. Which means I ended up losing my left arm. Okay, we'll do a hundred on the side there. 120, 25, 40, uh, 30, 30. Uh, I try my hardest not to be shot in the back, so maybe actually not worry too much about being shot in the back but the front seeing as how it's long range maybe ah you know what let's just be careful we'll do that uh ac2s that's fine um 25 100 100 Ninety, ninety. Okay. Okay, I think that will be a better armor distribution. Alas, you can only really learn through experience. So, yeah. Confirm. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay. Uh, vindicate her. Uh, with your lerms.
Sorry, give me a second. I'm just quickly looking this up. Um, can I switch? Right, what range are you working at right now? 360 for optimum. Uh, 180. Take that off. One eighty three sixty. Hmm. It's the three sixty disparity that's bugging me. Three hundred, three sixty. Okay, well, if we do that, that's too heavy. Uh, hmm. I might be making this too long range, like the whole group too long range. If I do this, okay, well, reverse that. Okay, I think the better idea is to find out what range I can fit the Shadowhawk into. So, your SRM-60s are 180. Or just 180 for SRMs. 180 for medium lasers, so that's a good parity. Then 360 for AC-5. an AC4 there, take that off. Give me a cavalry? For example, a jack of trade that supports weaponry at all ranges and had respectable speed and ca jump capability. The mounts uh, decent armor. It comes at the cost of excelling at nothing in particular. Unfortunately, that'll put us over. I think for now we can't really do much, honestly. We lack finances more than anything else to do a lot of things, and the equipment that we have right now doesn't let us change much. I mean, I can take the LRM5 off and the small laser and then try and put a large laser here, but the problem is we'll have to take a heat sink off, I think. So I'd have to go like that and I find large laser, how's that? Yeah, see how our heat efficiency is just dropped through the floor though? Hmm. Okay, what range did the SRM work at? Well, 180. This is 360, isn't it? Yeah, 360. 300. We could take a jump jet off. I don't use them that much, so maybe that would be better? Well, we can but try. Log and note. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, us, I think we just, like, already switched our armor to the front a bit more. Yeah. So that'll do us. Uh, back. Um, spider? You got two medium lasers. Okay, well, if I put nothing else actually thinking about it on. Um, hmm. Well, I guess technically you don't need the arms, right? We're not using them. It's <laughs> such a terrible thing to say. We're not using the arms, right? So it's fine if we strip the armor from the. Like, I'm trying to protect your center torso, okay?
Okay, I think that's probably a better armor distribution. Just to protect the core components. Oh, I'll let you know when that's done. Oh, why is this got why is this got an exclamation mark? What am I doing wrong? What's your warning? Oh, unused tonic mine? Alright, well put it in there, I guess. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. But anyway, that's what we'll do for now, so I'll leave there, and until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed!